So, uh, let us continue with what we were doing. So, this is lecture 3. So, we defined. Uh, so, recall that. tau is a subset of the power set of R 2 uh, consisting of subsets u which satisfy this property star and recall what property star was. Uh, if x is in u, then there is epsilon positive such that s epsilon, okay, so instead of x I should write a comma b is a point in u is completely continuous. So, let us check that uh, tau satisfies the conditions defining a uh, topology. So, the first condition is uh, phi and r 2 should be in tau. So, as in the example of the standard topology on r, so phi is in tau is true, is vacuously true because there are no points in the empty set. And similarly, R 2 is in tau is also clear because if we take any point in R 2, we can always take a square of side length 2 yeah, for any a comma b in R 2, we can take s 1 a comma b, this is obviously contained now. So, obviously, the first condition is satisfied. So, let us look at the second condition. The second condition requires that if we take finitely many elements in tau, then their intersection and the intersection u i is in tau. So, to check this, so once again, so let we take a point a comma b which is in this intersection u i and the same proof as in R since a comma b is in u i and u i satisfies star there is epsilon i positive such that this s epsilon i of a comma b is contained in u i right. So, we have our u i may be some set like this and we can take a point a comma b here and there is this some epsilon i this s epsilon i. And this is ui, right. So, we take epsilon to be equal to the minimum of epsilon 1, epsilon 2, up to epsilon n, and clearly epsilon s epsilon a comma b is contained in s epsilon i a comma b. Right. And uh, so, therefore, s epsilon a comma b is contained in s epsilon i a comma b is contained in u i for all i. Yeah. So, this shows that s epsilon a comma b is contained in the intersection. 
right. So, thus the intersection satisfies this property star. And uh, okay, so therefore, thus the intersection ui is in tau. <laughs> so therefore, tau satisfies condition two, and let's quickly check that it also satisfies condition three. So condition three was given a set i, and for each i in i. an element u i in tau and then we need to check that the union u i is also in tau. Okay. So, once again we let a comma b we need to check that the union satisfies its property star. So, let a comma b be an element in the union which implies that a comma b is in u j for some j in i, uh, which implies that there is epsilon positive such that uh, this square of side length epsilon around a comma b is contained in u j as u j satisfies is in tau and so satisfies this property star and which implies that s epsilon a comma b is contained in u j which in turn is contained in this union. Right. So, thus the union satisfies this property star and so is in tau. So, this shows that tau also satisfies the third condition to define topology. Yeah. So, therefore, tau defines a topology on R2. And our sixth example, which I will leave it as an exercise, is uh, the standard topology. on R n. <laughs> okay. So, uh, this is very similar and let me just give some hints how to do how to define this. So, let us take a vector x, let us write a vector in R n as x. So, this is the n tuple and uh, we define once again this subset s epsilon of x uh, to be those y in R n such that the absolute value of x i minus y i is less than epsilon. Okay. And uh, once again we define this property star in the same way. So, let u contained in R n be a subset. we say u satisfies the property star if. So, for every this is this property vector x in u there exists epsilon positive which once again epsilon may depend on x right such that this subset s epsilon x is contained in and we let tau be the collection of subsets u contained in R n which satisfy property 
star okay and uh, i will leave it as an exercise that show that tau defines a topology on rn so this is an exercise okay and so this is one exercise and i want to give another exercise so okay before i write the exercise let me just uh, uh, so in the example of r2 or even rn uh, so in the example of rn uh, we could we can okay first define so let's write like this so mm, define for x in rn and epsilon positive define the subset b epsilon of x as this is those y in rn such that uh, summation i equal to 1 to n y i minus x i square is less than epsilon okay so this is open ball of radius epsilon around x yeah. and uh, we can define so define a property star prime uh, or let u be a subset of rn we say that u satisfies property star prime if so this is this property for every x in u there is epsilon positive which may once again depend on this point x such that this b epsilon of x is contained in u okay and we let tau prime be the collection of subsets u such that uh, u satisfies tau prime okay so then there are two exercises here one show that tau prime defines a topology on rn and two show that tau so this is tau in example 6 so example 6 is this one so the standard topology on yeah on rn that we define is equal to tau prime. So, what is what do I mean by the second exercise? So, both tau and tau prime are subsets of Rn. Yeah, show that these subsets are the same. I'm sorry, are subsets are subsets of the power set of Rn. Right? So show that tau is equal to both these subsets are the same. Okay. 
So, this the second exercise so let me make a remark exercise 2 above shows that the same topology can be defined in different in different ways. Okay. Uh, so, we have seen quite a few examples of uh, topological spaces now and we want to give more examples. So, we want to explain now explain some tools uh, or some methods which we can use to define topologies on topological spaces. Right. So, uh, for that, uh, so next we want to explain. So, next we want to explain. some ways we can use or some methods we can use to define topologies on sets. Okay. So, our aim is to construct a large collection of topological spaces uh, and study their topological properties. Right. So, first we have to construct a large collection of topological spaces. So, we are headed in that direction. So, let us give a definition before we proceed, a very basic definition of open sets. Okay. So, let x comma tau be a topological space so a subset u of x is said to be open if uh, open in tau if u belongs to tau. Okay. So, uh, if we have a set a set x and we have given a topology to x. So, subsets of x which are in tau will often be called open subsets. Yeah. So, whether u is open or not depends on the topology we have given to x. Okay. So, uh, with this, so let us define a basis. basis for a topology. Uh, so, let x be a set and let tau be a topology on x. Okay. So, uh, a collection B, so B is a subset of tau, is called a basis for tau uh, 
if it satisfies the following two conditions the following condition just not two right so given any u in tau and an x in u there is an element w in b uh, such that x belongs to w and w is contained in u so let us see uh, an example of a basis we have already seen it uh, in a form but let us just make it more explicit so example let x be the real line and let tau be the standard topology on R. So, uh, let B be the collection of intervals a comma b uh, okay so first of all we claim that every interval a comma b is open in the standard topology on R. So, what do we mean by this statement? We just we simply mean that that is every interval a comma b is in tau. Okay. So, this is an easy check it is uh, yeah we already did it in the example of 0 1. So, you can do this <coughs> you can try this exercise. So, we have it is the same we showed that the interval 0 1 satisfies property star and in the same way. So, int uh, use the same method or I do not know idea that we used to show that. 0 1 satisfies property star. To show that the interval a comma b satisfies property star right. So, recall that the standard topology on the real line was defined using the property star and uh, we showed that 0 1 satisfies the open interval 0 1 satisfies this property star. Uh, so, the same proof will can be easily modified to show that this interval a comma b also pro satisfies property star. Okay. So, the, the, the conclusion is that thus b is indeed a subset of tau okay. and we want to check that uh, we want to check that B satisfies this condition, right. So, let us check that. So, suppose, so we claim, so let me write as a claim here. Yeah? So, claim B is a basis for tau. So, let us prove this claim. So, suppose, so let U be in tau then u satisfies property star which implies that for for any x in u 
there exists a psilin positive sorry there exists a psilin positive such that x minus epsilon comma x plus epsilon is contained in u right. So, we take so let w be the interval x minus epsilon comma x plus epsilon then x belongs to w w is an element is an interval and therefore it is an element of the set d and clearly w is contained in u right. So, this shows that B is a basis for tau. Okay. So similarly, so similarly, the collection B, uh, let me call it B two, consisting of those sets S epsilon A comma B, where A comma B is a point in R2 and epsilon is positive, uh, form forms a basis for the standard topology on R2. Okay. So, this can be checked in the same way that we checked for R and once again similarly the collection B n this is the collection of those S epsilon x where x is an element of R n and epsilon is positive forms a basis. for the standard topology on R n. Okay. So, uh, right. So, we have seen uh, Okay, we have defined the basis for a topology and you can familiarize yourself with the definition of a basis and these three examples uh, how uh, these three examples of standard topology on R and R2 and Rn and the basis for these and in the next lecture we will uh, see two important properties that these bases have that a basis has and using those two properties we shall explain how uh, given any subset B of the power set which has those two properties we can use that set B to define a topology. So, we will end this lecture here. Thank you.